Hello humans, how are thou today? Doing pretty dandy myself. Do need to shave a little bit, I'm getting a little, a little fuzzy. Hmm. So not using the studio lighting right now because we're in the kitchen. Because we're gonna be testing a product where we ask the question, is it worth it? Yes, so our friends sent us a product. We're gonna break it open and uh, we're gonna take a look. So, hmm. So stand by because apparently you can't turn the camera around when you're on site. All right, not bad, not bad. So the Fika Air Fry Oven. This bad boy's got all kinds of crazy features. You got your timer, you got your temperature control, you got your function, you got your toast timer thing, you got power light and all that stuff. So I am going to bust this bad boy open. That's the reason why we are in the kitchen because I need to plug her in test it out see how it looks and uh we're gonna bake a pie and see how it uh see how it works all right stand by all right well first things first she is sexy and i'm using the proper formatting here my kitchen's a mess but now i'm not going up and down so good stuff she is pretty comes with all kinds of cool utensils rotisserie spinner air fryer uh, metal pan all kinds of good stuff um the only thing that I am going to say right off the bat that I'm a little bummed with is the size. I thought it was going to be much bigger. I'm not sure in any world a pizza is going to fit in that, but um, it might just barely squeeze in. But it's not that wide, unfortunately. That, that's, that's the only thing I don't like. As you can see my hand, I don't have giant hands, and it's almost that whole thing. So, I mean, I got some Girl Scout cookies here. I mean, you guys know how that is like that's that's a little bit of a bummer guys i don't want to ding you on anything again sorry the kitchen's a mess i did some barbecuing today but um yeah i don't i do not like the size but we're gonna see how it runs see because i mean you got the the various things in here we got a random wire got some metal doohickeys all right let's turn it on and see what happens Let's go with bake. Gotta figure out, you should always look at the, uh, hmm. Oh, that's probably the button I gotta do right here, right? No? Hmm. I want to bake. Is there, is there a power button? Let's see what we got here. You gotta make me read the instructions? All right, stand by while I read the instructions. Okay, I swear I'm not crazy. You guys saw me do it a second ago, but that turns it on. I mean, it's freaking gorgeous. This, this, if you don't have any, um, like large things you need to cook, uh, you know, this might, this should fit the pie, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Great. If you're looking for something large, I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, this is showing a pizza. It would have to be a very small pizza, but uh, this is this thing is so pretty. I just, it's a counter, it's a, it's a speaking piece for sure. So I'm gonna bake a pie and we're gonna see how it is and rate it, all right. Okay, back to the messy, messy kitchen. And we have seen this thing going for a while. So a couple of things that I kind of learned is that when you open it, it kind of shuts things down. So kind of like, maybe it's a safety feature. You got your timer here. Um, you know, obviously it keeps going, then bing. You got your temperature control. Uh, when you first get it, they recommend going 450, then doing what you need to do. Then again, you have your air fryer, your broiler, keeping things warm, bacon, rotisserie, a whole lot of different stuff going on. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I didn't really have any type of need for this feature here, but again, you got rotisserie action, you've got baking action, you got um, air fry action, all kinds of good stuff, broiling. So yes, so this is the Fika multi-purpose device, I guess you could say. <laughs> We're gonna pull it out and check on this pie now. It's been going for about an hour. This is a Dutch apple pie that we make from scratch for the cafe. And uh, it looks pretty dang phenomenal. Just gotta say, I mean, the crust looks great. Everything looks great didn't burn, didn't overcook. Um, I actually left it in for an extra few minutes just because I was uh, doing something on my computer. 
and um, yeah, so it looks phenomenal. Tray came right on out. Uh, let me just turn that dude off. Mm. There we go. So messy. All right, so um, we will review this in a moment. Pika. You see my reflection. All right, so I am back, and we have to ask that very important question. Is it worth it? I'm gonna say yes. I mean, sorry about the formatting again, but again, we're not in the studio, we're in the kitchen. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. Um, it does get dinged for a couple of things. The price is on the higher end of the spectrum, around 130 or so. Um, however, most good toaster ovens are around 100 bucks. The crappier ones, you can get at like Walmart and Target for 40. They're okay, but they don't have a lot of functionality. This one allows you to air fry, bake, rotisserie, um, broil, all kinds of crazy things. So it has a lot of functionality. It looks really freaking nice on your counter. Like people that come into your house and say, oh, that's if they're like appliance junkies. We all have that friend that likes our stuff. They're going to be like, oh, okay. All right. That's kind of cool. Or I mean, the chair. Right, so how do I explain this? If you have friends like that, which I do, sometimes people don't, but even if they don't say anything, they're gonna look at it and be like, oh, where'd you get that toaster oven? So yeah, or they're gonna be like, oh, where'd you get the oven? So yeah, it's it's a looker, that's for sure. I ding it eight because I'm pretty mad that I can't use it at the shop to make pizzas. It's too small. I had hoped it needs to be another two inches or so wider and it would've been perfect. Perfect 10 out of 10, 100%. I'd use it all the time, I'd love it. This thing's only gonna be able to bake pies for me. Um, and that's just not going to work at my cafe, but it's still great. I mean, because I've got I've got larger ovens that can do pies and pizzas and uh, you know meatballs and stuff like that. I don't need um, one that can can't do everything. So that's where I don't like what I don't like about it. Why like it's an eight because it looks bigger. The photo shows a pretty sizable looking pizza, but that's actually more looking like a, a personal size, like an eight inch or something. So that's one thing I don't like. Well, I'm like going back and forth. I'm like rocking, rocking, rocking. Like I like to move when I'm on the phone. So interesting. But yeah, so I highly recommend this product. Um, it's a very, very nice toaster oven. And I will put all the information for you guys to purchase it right in the information description. I'm like half asleep. It's like one in the morning, but I'm dedicated to getting this video done. So again, sorry for the very low quality but it's a toaster oven and I wasn't gonna bake this thing in my studio. So it was going in the kitchen on the counter and you get the crappier quality. But nonetheless, you got to see it. You got to see it make pie and it, mm, pie came out good. I'll be eating some of that. So I will see you guys all later. Until next time, meow.